I do the recording now. All right, welcome to the CESS meeting. Today's date is April 20th, 2022. Uh, and Leo joins us with some insights to share about document all, and that's the entire agenda. Um, take it away, Leo. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, if you've been uh, tracking the Shadow Realms repo, I opened an issue there. Um, just as I like a, a curious uh, finding where we see uh, document.oh, it is a, a weird, undesirable, exotic object. And it's also like host defined in the what way HTML adds a call internal. By adding a call internal, it means document all if you try to send it cross realms, and this is already being reflected in, uh, um, in the current implementation in Safari technology profile, a document dot all, which is uh, the weird object with the time uh, type of undefined, goes to the other realm as a wrapped function. Uh, and you can call it, and, and, and then like when it gets to the other uh, the realm, when you call it, uh, like it, it does have the type of function then because it's a wrapped function uh, connected to it. Uh, and if you call it like with no arguments, like if you just call with like uh, empty parameters, it returns new, new. So you can actually receive new, like even back and forth. But of course, if you give any uh, arguments or anything um, and you get, you get a type error because document at all would actually return an object with the elements. <sighs> we try to discuss it, like what we want to do with it. Like, should we block it? Should we um, just keep it at is? Or should we transfer it as a undefined because of the type of undefined? Um, right now, I think the status quo seems okay and it's part of like user land like the main brains to understand like if they want to transfer uh that like if they want to allow document that all to be wrapped or not um, at salesforce our new main brain system is uh has like around 23 checks for document at all um, and that's where we need to to make sure like we we're not going to transfer it it's user land it's not like although we have many checks it's not a, like a performance i don't think it's a performance burden or anything it's it's an annoyance one thing that i i had to reach out to some people and uh, and i reach out, i talked to dominic as part of the what wig Dominic came with a pragmatic um, thought where like if we want to remove, like if we want to eventually remove document at all, what's the path that wouldn't break uh, shadow realms in terms of like what it does today, like how it treats document at all. Uh, it's a callable, uh, the day it's not a callable anymore, it's just not gonna be able to, we're not gonna be able to transfer it. So it's if it's also not there, it's not gonna do any special casing. Should we special case it? Uh, that's part of the question, but I don't think it's, uh, honestly, in my opinion, I don't think it's necessary to special case it in the Shadow Realms API. Hold on one second. One, one, one part I didn't understand. I thought one of the foreseen change in the future is not to make it non-callable anymore, but to uh, remove the, uh, it's not, remove the ease uh, document dot all slots. So make it that it would have type function instead of uh, of type uh, undefined. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, and uh, thanks for, for the reminder, yeah. And if that happens uh, and uh, the type of becomes function, um, like the status quo is the, the most pragmatic uh, of transferring it. 
So, and, and in a way that we don't need to change anything in the shadow realms. Like if we change, if we change it today, like one of the solutions were, should we throw a type error if we try to transfer document at all? If we do this today, because it's and because it's callable, and if it changes the type of function, uh, we're gonna need to change again the special case in the shadow realms. I sort of prefer um, not having uh, to to make like future plans for what we want to change in the shadow realms spec because of document at all. And, uh, and somehow I still want to say it's like user land responsibility on where we should, what we should do with document at all if it's someone tries to, to send it to the other realm. Although it doesn't create any compromises as it's like, it's just a weird function and uh, it wouldn't leak anything. I support the status quo. I cannot, understand. I'm sorry. I think Jack Cassidy supported the status quo. Um, as I mentioned in the issue, um, I see that there are really three approaches. The, the current approach, which is uh, to consider it a callable and to wrap it, uh, and just to leave it as that and put the onus on, uh, on whoever used the Shadow Realm uh, API to handle this case if they want to. Um, the other case is like make it actually appear as undefined on the other side. Uh, and the last case is to throw uh, if we detect uh, is document .all, uh, slot. Um, out of those three, uh, I believe the second one is uh, would be the one with the most problems in the future. Uh, because if uh, document.all gets removed, then instead of uh, becoming undefined on the other side, it would become uh, a, a wrapped uh, function. Um, so now you would have a change uh, in behavior just because something internal to, uh, the, uh, to the spec change. So going from throwing to allowing a value is acceptable. We've done it plenty of times, um, but I don't know if it's necessary. And in my mind, my, my preferred choice here is still to leave it uh, as is. It's a callable and just wrap it. And uh, if someone wants to handle it, they have to do it outside of the of um, the shadow realm, uh, they have to do it themselves. Yeah. And, uh, and to be honest, like, I think the benefit if we make it like throw a type error is doesn't uh, make up for, for the cost of change in the specs because like the, from the developer experience, from the near main brain point of view, it would be convenient if the near main brain didn't have to check if that's a document at all. But if we throw a type error, we're still gonna need to check it. Uh, right. So like, it's not much a benefit, it's... Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'd say don't check it. And if you wanna check, the only valid behavior is uh, to throw a type error. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think it's uh, like everyone expressed like how the document at all is undesirable, but it's part of the web reality. And hopefully it goes away. I mean, Dominic seemed uh, hopeful that uh, we implementations would be able to get rid of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's it. I don't think it's uh, critical at this point, unless like someone raised the, of any concerns here. But that's it. Uh, this is the update. Does anyone has any questions? So, um, are you? So, I guess that's one of the issues that you're gonna present at uh, plenary on, in uh, June. I'm not sure if I should present this at TC39 because like it, it would feel like I'd be presenting something to say, I just want the status quo. Like I just want it as is. Like we need to understand if it's callable, let's treat it as a callable and let's move on. Um, 
Is it like, what's the takeaway we want from uh, to say 39 if we discuss this there? No, I guess none. If we uh, if we can resolve to uh, keep the status quo, uh, we don't need to involve the committee. Yeah, exactly. It's like there is a, a grain of salt when we talk about uh, uh, document at all, but it limits to it. Basically, ignore that is there until you can't ignore that is there. <laughs> yeah, we cannot ignore like. Uh, at the same time, like if I wouldn't love to have shadow realms um, having any, any like any way to recognize like an NX bit thing, like adding a special case info. Like, does it have a HTML is DDA? Is HTML GDA uh, internal like or anything like that? This is an NXB. I don't want to. I don't want to shadow realms to have anything like for for that. Like, I I have mixed feelings about all of this. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we can. Keep this short. All right. Well, thank you. I'll uh, stop the recording. Thank you.